the international organization advocating for media rights, Reporters Without Borders, or RSF, announced on April 10th that a representative sent to Hong Kong to observe the British security trial of Next Media founder Jimmy Lai was refused entry by the Hong Kong Immigration Department. This marks the first instance where an RSF representative has faced entry denial or detention at Hong Kong airport. Bai Olan, the RSF commissioner involved in the incident, remarked that Hong Kong has become exceedingly dangerous. Rebecca Vincent, the organization's director of international operations, expressed, We are shocked by the unacceptable treatment of our colleagues. Such blatant interference by the authorities to obstruct court proceedings monitoring is unprecedented in any country. This underscores the absurdity of Jimmy Lai's case and the grave erosion of press freedom and rule of law in Hong Kong. This isn't Bai Olan's first visit to Hong Kong. In late December last year, she successfully entered, but endured prolonged questioning by immigration authorities and was then followed by unidentified individuals during her stay. Olan emphasized that RSF isn't a political organization, yet it has unnerved the Hong Kong government sending a significant message to international nonprofits. Hong Kong has become perilous. The Hong Kong Journalists Association stated on April 11th, deeming RSF's attention to press freedom and significant judicial cases in Hong Kong as standard. They found no reason for the Immigration Department to bar RSF's member entry for court observation, vowing to monitor the situation's development and urging the government to clarify the denial. Benedict Rogers, co-founder and executive director of human rights organization Hong Kong Watch, asserted on the same day that the lack of concrete international response post the March enactment of Article 23 legislation in Hong Kong has increasingly emboldened authorities to target journalists and human rights defenders with impunity. He urged the British government to consider naming and imposing sanctions on Hong Kong chief executive Li ka including asset freezes and travel bans to signal intolerance toward such blatant violations of Hong Kong's international obligations. The Hong Kong government's expulsion of Reporters Without Borders reverberated globally, with numerous media outlets, including Radio Free Asia, Voice of America, Deutsche Welle, The New York Times, Bloomberg, NBC, Australia Broadcasting Corporation, Al Jazeera, and Reuters, all covering the incident. 